it, how did it make you feel to see the votes come in last night and to see that more than 60 Australians did vote no? It was a, a weird feeling, really. Uh, it's not like your normal campaign, you know, an election campaign. This is about the heart and soul of this nation and, and how we're going to be moving forward. So it was just like a calming effect on me. I just sort of sat there and I was very pleased that, you know, the 12 months of hard work that we did, you know, and, and, and it was really tough to do it. Uh, and, uh, and the Australian people, uh, you know, uh, rewarded us for that. Uh, Why do you so. think you won? Why do you think the No campaign won? Oh, well, there's a several things. The first thing was the mistake of uh, uh, people having learned from history about referendums. Referendums have to have a bipartisan approach, whether you like it or not. Uh, you have to reach out to the other side and you have to have a conversation with them and come together on, on supporting that. Uh, so that was the first mistake that they did. Uh, and then the, the second mistake was that when it became very obvious because through the polling and everything that uh, people wanted more detail about it, they, sh they, they should, I would have, if I was in their campaign, I would have changed, I would have changed track and actually gave some detail and talked about that. Uh, but so, so that these are the things mm. that come. There's a lot of Australians who would have wanted, who I do know, who wanted to vote yes, but voted no because of those two things. All right. Uh, you said a few times throughout the campaign mm. you'd wanted to defeat this proposition and that the hard work was going to begin on Sunday morning. So what hard work's beginning today? Well, for me at the moment is uh, doing these interviews and that, but then we'll have conversations with the team and that. And, because, and look, there's going to be, uh, you know, the, there's a call for a week of, you know, reflection and, mm. and, and silence and that. Uh, we will respect that. Uh, I think that because I've been in the positions where we've, we've lost things and where you put your heart and soul into it and, uh, and, it's, and it's tough. When you, when you don't come out with that victory. So we'll respect that and we'll, we'll uh, uh, you know, then we'll sit down and have those conversations. Can we just go into some of the detail though? I know it is still very fresh, but do you still plan to push for the development of treaties or a national treaty like you suggested on Insiders? Will you help the Coalition develop maybe a private members bill for regional or local voices to set up some of the things you did discuss in the campaign? Well, the things that are, are, are discussed is that I don't, I don't support uh, a, a national treaty. I don't support that at all. Uh, I've never supported that and it's all through my writings and everything like that. Mm. I didn't support the, the, the way that the uh, Yes campaign were going to take this down. I, I didn't support the Makarata Commission and that. Uh, we have our people, we have our traditional owners, our clan leaders and our elders in our communities of our all the many Aboriginal f nations across this country. They're the voices for our people. Our culture tells us we can't talk for someone else's country except, uh, you know, uh, and, and they can't talk for us. And so sure. that's why it's got to be. A local treaties. But so you're not going to start work towards local treaties like you suggested a few weeks back? Uh, my first thing is that to, to actually, you know, and I put up the four pillars that I think needs to go forward. The first one is about, you know, this accountability. How do we, how do we, and it's not about blaming or attacking people. It's about, okay, look, we've been spending billions of dollars every year. What, what has worked and what hasn't worked? And really do a surgical approach to that about performance. How can we perform better? Because there are some programs that have done some good work. There are other programs that have, have gone backwards in that. Mm. So we've got to really focus on about how we're spending our money and getting those outcomes that we need, uh, working with those, uh, working with the people on the ground. Okay. The other ones of education is so important. We need to work with families, work with parents and work with communities to get that kids to school and working. Yeah. Is there a risk, do you think, Warren, that uh, politicians might look at this result and say 60% or more of Australians have voted no and think this is too hard, treaties are too hard, closing the gap's too hard, and they sort of push this issue to one side like they have in the past because there aren't heaps and heaps of votes in Indigenous affairs? Well, I don't think they li were listening during the campaign. You know, During the campaign, uh, the Australian people on all sides, the Australian people want... Aboriginal people to live a prosperous, long life and be and be part of the Australian community together. <coughs> Excuse me. And and that was clear from everyone I spoke to. There were yes voters or no voters. Now they 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 they're, they're sick and tired 
of the problems that Aboriginal people are suffering under, the struggles that they're suffering under. And so we've so if if politicians want to go down that end, then they're wasting their time. We've got to really focus and work together to resolve the, uh, Aboriginal peoples who are struggling out there and fix it. All right, finally, Warren, I did want to ask, mm. you spent a bit of time with Peter Dutton through this campaign. Do you think he, and, and probably more importantly, do you think the coalition is serious about closing the gap and serious about achieving reconciliation in this country? Well, they're, they're very much serious about it. And, you know, this is one of the reasons why they took the stance. And it was one of the reasons why they had that, that uh, Peter Dutton sent that letter to the Prime Minister about, the, the, you know, could you answer these questions? Because we're, we're very serious about this approach. We All Australians are. And we really want to work and make it happen. And, and of course, uh, Peter Dutton's is out there and, and, and seriously pushing this line. Uh, look, the Prime Minister of Australia, it's really, a, he's, he's the leader of this country. He's our Prime Minister for all Australians. He needs to now sit down, uh, change some of his rhetoric and also to uh, now to reunite, reunite the country and move mm -hmm. forward.